Hi, I'm Tamara the Scope with your solar storm forecast update for September the 12th. The sun continues to be active this week, and since my last update with that M4.5 flare, we now have an X1.6 from the same region, that's region 2158, and it has fired yet another solar storm at us, and this one is fast. Switching to coronagraphs, you can see this huge halo, unlike the M4.5 flare, this particular storm has a beautiful halo, it's 360 degrees around the sun, and that means this thing is headed directly for us. Switching to our prediction model, this is Enlil. The top panel's density, the bottom panel's velocity. You can see the two solar storms coming out. The first one is from that M4.5 flare. The second one is from that X1.6. And you can see that second one is really fast. It actually looks like it's going to catch up to that first one. And right when they hit Earth, it's all going to kind of come together. So that should set us up for some really strong storming starting around the 12th uh, and into the 13th. Now that X1.6 flare did launch a particle radiation storm, and we are currently above the NOAA S1 storm level and will continue to remain elevated like this through the passage of these storms before we begin to decay probably around the 13th and through the 14th. Turning to your solar storm conditions and aurora possibilities for the next few days, NOAA has issued a major storm watch at both high and low latitudes. That's at the G3 level, so this is a big one, folks. And the storming could continue through the 13th before we begin to see some settling down uh, later in the week. Turning to our solar flare and particle radiation storm outlook for the next few days, NOAA has upped the M-class threat level to 85% and the X-class threat level to 40%. So we have a very big chance of uh, very strong solar flares over the next few days. And the main player, of course, is region 2158 because it still has a very unstable magnetic configuration. Now, also looking at particle radiation storms, we are in that S1 storm level right now, and that will continue uh, through the 13th and expect it to continue to be elevated but declining as we uh, move into next week. So the next few days are going to have extremely active space weather conditions. We have that set of solar storms that's going to punch us on the 12th and 13th. So we definitely anticipate having issues with your GPS, uh, any satellite-based services like phone or internet. Uh, also, uh, we could see some power grid fluctuations with this one because this is going to be a very strong storm. Also, you ham radio operators, you will also be impacted because the uh, communications won't be so good during uh, uh, these strong storm conditions. We will also have a very high possibility for more strong flares, so we could have some radio communications blackouts which will further impact you ham radio operators. Sorry about that. Uh, but we are also in a radiation storm right now. It's reasonably low level, but uh, any high-risk passengers taking long international uh, uh, flights over the poles, please take this into consideration in your flight plans. Outside of that, expect to have some amazing aurora. Uh, we could conceivably have aurora that could reach as far south as places like uh, the Netherlands, south of the Netherlands, um, could have uh, maybe even Australia for the Aurora Australis, and in America we could see uh, Aurora possibly down to Arizona or even Florida. So everybody, God, look at the skies and uh, cross your fingers that this is going to be a wonderful display. I'm Tamitha Scove. Thank you for watching.